His name is Amen. It was shortly after birth. They knew it was something wrong with him. He has uh, severe tracheomalacia and severe bronchomalacia. Really the problem is that if, if the airway is a tube, um, that our patient's tube was being compressed or smashed to the point where he couldn't move in the air. And it was, you know, basically it was almost like he was choking to death. He was choking himself to death. So this was life threatening. Fortunately, one of the folks that developed a novel treatment using uh, 3D printed material to support and prevent the floppiness from occurring is actually here at Georgia Tech now. The first thing we do that we have to get from the surgeons is actually the CT scan of the patient. Because we use the CT scan, the image data actually build a digital model of the patient. And from that model, we get the parameters of the length of the collapse segment, the diameter, and we use that to actually design uh, the devices. Actually, in this case, there were three devices implanted. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, let's head on upstairs. Okay. We're going to walk to the operating the room change. together. You're with him all the way. I know, just a little bit nervous. Yeah, go ahead and give him a kiss. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be life changing for him and his family. We were thinking and planning and discussing this for months. This is a, a well thought out, a well rehearsed, thoughtful approach to, to what we were doing just because this is new um, for us and for the state of Georgia and really for the southeast. Surgery was really exciting to be able to do. The first thing we did was look at the airway and see the areas that were collapsing down that we needed to put the splint on. In the operating room we had over 40 different sizes from which to choose just because it was so critically important that we have exactly the right fit. It, it really is kind of uh, kind of like the uh, finding the Goldilocks uh, moment of aha this is just right. Okay, so the trachea will be the same size? The things that we implanted go around the outside uh, of the breathing tube to hold it open and so that it can't be pushed on or collapsed and so it allows the free flow of air. There's no reason that the children of the state of Georgia should not receive the best, the most up-to-date, the most innovative care, uh, and we should not have to send anybody out of the state of Georgia. And so I believe that you know, Children's Emory and Georgia Tech and other local partners have committed to developing a infrastructure to allow for the delivery of these cutting-edge therapies that in this case uh, have been life-saving. Well, when I just saw him a minute ago, he was smiling, he was happy. He was breathing easily. His ventilator support is a third of what it was. Certainly he still has very significant medical issues, but, but he's smiling, you know, and before he couldn't even breathe. This is definitely a rewarding thing um, to see the patient with his mother, uh, where she was not able to hold him for quite some time. Um, that was definitely rewarding. He's happy, he can be engaging, he can start to, to be a baby. 